Now, when the Schrodinger equation is solved for a hydrogen atom, okay, when it's solved for a hydrogen atom, it gives you the, the solution, the solution of of Schrodinger Schrodinger equation for for a hydrogen atom for a hydrogen atom gives the energy level gives the energy levels in which the electron is found okay along with the corresponding wave function along with the with the corresponding wave functions which is psi okay which is psi now wave function is nothing wave function psi is a mathematical function whose value depends on the coordinates of the atom. Okay? So say let, let me let me explain. So so let's say f x is equal to x square minus two x plus three is, is a normal function that we encounter. Okay. Now this function as such is what? It is a processor, it translates. Okay. It has some meaning when you put say say sort of you put this as two, it gives you the value as two to four, two square is four minus four plus three, three. You, you you put it as three, the value is six. Okay? So you understand? It depends on this. There the wave function that you that you have, the, the, the wave function psi, that depends on where the atom is at a given point of time. So it's you will have to decide its its coordinates. And how do you decide the coordinates? The, the electrons they are moving in a three dimension okay so the coordinates have to be three dimensional it should have an x component and a y component and, and, and a z component okay so at each stage it will start giving you the function the, the, the value of that wave function okay so Now, now we, we say that, that there are energy levels and the wave functions that you get for that energy level. Fine. Now, so, so I come here. So, so these, these quantized energy states, okay? We had seen even in the Bohr model that our energy was quantized. Then we we saw that the energy was quantized. We we actually solved that. Fine. It's not that they'll be able to take all the energy energy levels, right? Because if they were able to able to do that, what it it would mean? What would it mean? It would mean that my electron can be stationed anywhere from here to here. And we saw that is not the case. Okay, there is a definite, there is a definite distance at which you can be the electron can be placed. That is that is what Bohr said, and 
and, and and when placed there and when placed and when placed at that distance it does not radiate any energy right so the energy states are quantized hmm? that that is that is reflected by the quantum mechanical solution of of the electrons right of an, of, uh, when when dealing with a hydrogen atom so these quantized energy states and the corresponding wave functions right the corresponding wave functions because then we have also seen that depending on velocity its lambda also changes so things will change when it moves from one quantized energy state to another correct so these quantized energy states and the corresponding wave functions are characterized by they are characterized by a set of three quantum numbers by a set of three quantum numbers and those quantum numbers are named as as number 1 the principal quantum number the principal quantum number it is denoted by n we have been dealing with this principal quantum number in when we were when we were talking about bohr's model okay we had given it that name principal quantum number right the second quantum number that comes into play is the azimuthal quantum number azimuthal quantum number l and the third quantum number that comes into play is the magnetic quantum number m okay m